much. <laughs> I went to the gym yesterday. Don't even ask. I don't even recognize myself when I say something like that. Um, so don't ask me why. I just decided I was going to go and do some legs in the gym. Good morning, guys. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my weekly vlog. Now, when did I last speak to you guys? It was the... Oh my god, it was the actual day that our house flooded. So as you guys know, if you watched my last video, um, we went away for the night. Just, it was the 1st of January. So we went away on New Year's Day and we returned home on the 2nd of January. And alongside so many other places around the UK this week, our house completely flooded. It's now the second time in the last three months that this has happened. So I, I'm not even that bothered this time. Like as bad as that sounds, we were trying to make things work after the first time it happened, but it still didn't feel like home. It didn't feel secure. It didn't feel safe. I was literally anxious every time it rained and we live in England. Like we're gonna get rain a lot. So I can't live like that. The panic, that I would have every time it was raining, every time the river outside rose, I would panic. It's not a way to live. And we have decided to wash our hands with that. Um, we've decided to not move back in to that home, which is, it is very disheartening. And it is really, like, it's, it's really sad, actually, because I did love that home. And I know so many of you guys really loved watching like my videos in that house as well but there isn't much we can do about it second time round we were so equipped for it as i said it was literally the day that we got back from our little night away i was at home on my own and all i was doing was pacing around the house looking at the river outside looking out of this window looking out of that window checking the front door like i, I knew all of the flood spots from last time so i was watching them like a hawk i honestly could not relax i was so tense so on edge so anxious thinking that the water was going to come in the house again the living room was the first place that the water started coming through last time and as soon as i saw that one spot of water i knew for a fact it's going to be a repeat of last time i called brad straight away like in tears like it's coming in it's coming in it's in the living room i don't know what to do like i was on my own so i was panicking um the first thing i did was went and basically moved everything from the kitchen cupboards and the cupboards like throughout the house moved everything up to the top shelves of the cupboards or like on the surface above the cupboards i just was moving everything up like everything that was low in the house and that was small enough for me to move on my own i was moving up moving up moving up um went into the wardrobes i cleared out our bottom drawers our middle drawers um moved all of my shoes up my bags up obviously what else would i be doing in a crisis but yeah i knew i just knew straight away as soon as that little bit of water came into the house i just knew it was the exact same scenario as last time so brad was home within 10 minutes um my mum came over my dad came over it was kind of like we just knew what to do this time. There wasn't really as much panic or heartbreak around it this time because we've been through it before, you know? Like, even though it's only once, I just think we were so done with it. Like, as soon as that water came through the second time, I had checked out of that house in my head. Like, I had moved out. Like, that was it. Uh, that was the last straw for us. So, it's a new week and I am getting ready because we're going to head over to the house this afternoon. Just have a little bit of a clear out. We actually spent a lot of this week just moving all of our stuff upstairs. We were lucky enough to have a free apartment above us. So, all of our clothes are up there. All of our furniture is up there. I don't know how long we're going to be keeping it in there for, but at the moment, we're living with my mum and dad. So, now that everything's out of the house, we are going to head over this afternoon to just start cleaning because, as you can imagine, the state that the house is left in after a flood, like, you can't even explain how disgusting it is. Like, it is filthy um i didn't actually document anything from last time so i wanted to make sure that i filmed as much as i could this time this next part of the video is really kindly sponsored by barley body they have sent me their new tinted super serum and this has saved my life this week because i have been back and forth to the house it's been one of those weeks where i've just not put in any effort 
into my appearance like whatsoever but this little product right here has been a lifesaver it's like the perfect no makeup makeup product i love the feeling of not really having any makeup on so this is really really perfect for that it's a tinted serum with hyaluronic acid peptides and amino acids now i'm 25 guys it's so handy because i am rubbish at putting spf on like i'll admit it i am really really rubbish so having this uva and uvb product with spf 30 is honestly that is a lifesaver for me so i'm literally just going to tip it onto my face and use my fingers to blend it in it's so quick and easy as you can see the texture's like serum like it will run down my cheek put some on this cheek and now i'm going to blend it and you'll be able to see how easily it blends. You can be so rough with it because it's not foundation. It blends so quickly, so easily. I feel like it really adapts to your skin tone as well. Okay, I hope you can see what a difference that's made. I feel like the results just speak for themselves. I look like I'm wearing makeup, but I don't which is the perfect look for me. So this does come in two different shades. This is shade tan. It's also recommended that you put it on 15 minutes before going out. Then you get the full benefits of the SPF 30. That is my makeup done. Like how easy was that? Thank you so much again to Barley Body for sponsoring this video. I love your brand. I love your products. And yeah, this serum has saved my life this week and I highly, highly recommend it to you guys. Okay, update. Currently on our way to the house basically to just start cleaning the floor maybe getting around to cleaning out the cupboards a little bit just anywhere where the dirty water touch basically um because it's gonna be a hell of a job to clean that up it was last time so we are gonna go and make a start at some point i did want to go upstairs and maybe just pack a little bag just to keep me going for the next couple of days at my mum and dad's house. Eventually, I would love to have a clear out of all of my clothes upstairs because when you clear out your wardrobe for the second time in three months, you really do realise that you don't need half of the stuff that's in there. Like, I am due the biggest clear out. I really want to try and be more minimalistic with my wardrobe this year. So... Yeah, I want to do that at some point this week. It snowed earlier. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that was what was underneath the carpet in our bedroom. Huh? What's it called? Underlay. Underlay, underlay. Oh, God, I just stood right in it. Do you know what? It stinks, but the floor doesn't look too bad. Because it's all dried out, um, you can see in this corner how, like, thick that layer of mud is on the floor. But yeah, all the water is gone. It just basically leaves dirt and mud all around the house. You can kind of see there where the water came up to. But yeah, what else have we got? The bathroom floor. Look how filthy the bathroom is. Oh. I can't do that. I've not come dressed appropriately for that. What have you come dressed for? Then? To mop. That's all that I was doing was just the mop here. And that's, I'm in my Uggs. I forgot my camera, so I'm really sorry, but I'm vlogging on my phone. I hope it's, I hope it's okay. This stuff smells really nice. I've just added that to the mop bucket. Just take this packaging off, but, oh, this mop is about to get. Filthy. You what? I feel my legs now. You can feel your legs? Yeah, same. This nice clean mop head is about to get filthy. Guys, could you even imagine having floor this dirty? It, you couldn't even imagine it. So bad, look. You need to put a little elbow grease into it Is that what you're doing? Look at you go, bloody hell, Mrs. Hinch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just gonna get moaned at if I'm chatting to the vlog the whole time, so. We've gotta get a shift on, haven't we, babes? Good morning, guys. The sun is shining today. Um, is this a good thing? 
Does it mean that it's gonna be a good day? Let's hope. Anyway, I decided to put a little bit of effort into my appearance today. First time in a long time, I'll tell you that. Although I don't have a home, my life is a little bit all over the place. I'm not gonna let it affect my work this time round. Um, last time we had a flood back in October because it was such a shock and also I lost my dog or like all at the same time. I really wasn't myself like it really took it out of me so yeah I was determined for this time round not to not to affect me and not to knock me back um I want to just carry on like as normal as I would on a normal week that means that I'm going out to shoot some content today because yeah I'm not I'm not letting it put a hold on my life anymore i'm just gonna go and meet abby to shoot this outfit and i've got a couple of things to edit this afternoon i want to make this week as productive as i can um i'm not gonna let any obstacles get in my way oh guys i still can't walk from the bloody gym the other day i've just made a quick pit stop at the house to um just check on things really i just wanted to make sure that the floor dried out from yesterday when we gave it that mop. Um, I didn't really vlog much yesterday, so I'm sorry about that. To be fair, it looks like it's dried quite well. It's looking slightly better, but I do still think we're gonna have to get a professional clean in here because this is like a huge, huge, huge job. Even with the help of family, like it's a lot. I feel like you need the right cleaning equipment for this type of dirt. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Made a tiny difference, what we did yesterday. I just wanted to get the key. I think I told you guys at the start of the video that we're keeping all of our stuff in the apartment upstairs, which this is so convenient. Like we're so lucky to have that available. It's really nice to be able to keep all of our stuff up there as a base. I just wanted to come and grab a couple of things. Don't even know if this is the right key or not. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, I don't even think you could begin to imagine what like all of your belongings looked like if you just piled them all up and put them in one room. Look at this. The amount of stuff we have is just a joke. It really puts things into perspective when something like this happens. Like, we do not need half of this. We really, really don't. Then we've also got our clothes just sort of dotted around this room all of brad's clothes and a few bits of mine are on the bed and then i've got all of my coats bags and shoes in here and i've got some clothes kicking about on this little sofa as well this is not a great way to live but we are equally so lucky to have a whole apartment to keep all of our belongings like i'm so grateful to have this space don't ask why i've not taken my sunglasses off it's just that everything's all like so secure in my head with this hat on i've just come to grab this beanie because abby wanted to borrow it today and also my bag okay guys i've just got to abby's and we are gonna head out and shoot some content now um my camera is actually flashing my battery is flashing so i will catch you guys up later <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Why didn't I bring a jacket? I just ran out the house, jumped in my car, and I didn't even like consider bringing a coat or a jacket, and I am freezing. I honestly look so rough. Like, why is it in this vlog I either look nice or awful? Like, there's no in between. I had a smear test yesterday, and I did speak about it on my Instagram stories. Um, I, I wasn't really nervous about it, but it was something that I know a lot of people do get worried about. And honestly, guys, there's nothing to worry about. Like, I felt really comfortable in mine. I could feel it a little bit, but it wasn't, it didn't hurt, but I would rather her, like, not be doing it. Does that make sense? It's like, I'd rather you pull that out of me right now. But anyway, I'm off to my house. Um, I don't think my camera's gonna stay there, I'll be honest. I feel like that is all I've said in this vlog and all I've done is just go back and forth. But that is literally what my life is consisting of right now. So I'm gonna go in and pick up just a couple of bits that I need to see me through. But I do think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because. Or do you wanna come in with me? No, you can come in with me. It weirdly smells like Harry Bow's in here. Right, let's just step over. Oh, look at Brad as a baby. Oh, look at him. How cute. Like, do you ever just think, how was that man 
him and like how was my boyfriend wants him do you know what i mean so i've got this big bag of jewelry perfume basically things i just shoved in from my bedroom um when the house started to fill with water uh my mum also wanted some porridge oats i went shopping like a few days before the flood so annoyingly we might have a lot of food that goes to waste because my mum doesn't really need anything else like at hers but she did ask me if i could just bring these porridge oats because they've just run out of porridge every time i come in here it reminds me how much i have that i need to get rid of and also it just reminds me that i'm living like this okay guys i've got a couple of things to keep me going for the next few days some trainers some boots an extra handbag um and then all of my jewelry and perfume at the bottom of this um so off i go i really look forward to the day um where i have security stability one base this is just gonna have to make do at the moment you're probably gonna see a lot of me going back and forth um from my mum and dad's to our house to this apartment um but do you know what it's all part of the journey also i keep talking about not having a home but like i i obviously do i have an amazing family home and i'm so lucky to be able to stay there and um, get on with my family so well. I feel very comfortable and happy in my family home. So I don't want that to come across like I'm being ungrateful. Anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you here. I hope you've enjoyed watching this weird week that I've had. I will be back really, really, really soon with a brand new video for you guys. Bye.